John Wilkes Booth come from Baltimore, a stage actor was he. He went on down to Washington and Blake and Ford to see. Was down at Ford's Theater, twas there he'd work his plan. He swore by God Almighty that the Union would not stand. Lee had just surrendered and Richmond lay in ruin. And on Virginia's bloody battlefield, great southern boys lay strewn. Booth, he vowed a vengeance, the southern cause he'd save. With steel in I for a pistol, Molly lay Lincoln in his grave. Amid the jubilation of the northern victory, Old Abe went to the theater, a comedy to see. At the president's arrival, the crowd rose as if one. Lincoln bowed and quickly took his seat, for the play had long begun. Then in a short time after, Escarto's by the door. Booth slipped past and waited till the crowd began to roar. It's then he drew his pistol and he rushed across the room. He loose the fatal bullet that sealed the great man's doom. As Booth shot the president, Mary screamed in anguish and rage. He then stabbed Major Rathbone and he leaped out to the stage. Six Emperor Tyrannus, he was heard to say, as he stood before the footlights, the crowd watched in dismay. He wheeled and dropped his dagger and gained the backstage door. Then he climbed upon his clay bank bear and he quickly rode away. He made it out of Washington with little time to spare. Then he rode on to Zeratsville and his carbines hidden there. Davy Harold, accomplice in his shame, hit by day in swamps and woods, cause Booth's left leg was lame. While Union troops searched far and wide along the Potomac shore, they slipped into Virginia, the recent seat of war. A troop of Yankee horsemen patrolling near next day. Heard of two young strangers that lately passed that way. One man dark and handsome and one with hair like coal. Seeking food and shelter, the garrets farmed it gold. The soldier boys then found them out in Garrett's barn. They demanded their surrender. Link.